One of the shows that you should definitely be adding to your watch list right now is Divine Gate. For the winter 2016, I've been very surprised for the amount of number of animes I really thought that weren't going to be nothing or just above average. And honestly, I've been quite surprised by some of them being pretty goddamn good. And definitely, Divine Gate is one of them. I really wasn't expecting much since it's supposed to be an adaptation of a mobile game. So, I was like, what on earth are they even going to do with this? I have no idea what pretty much we do. And the whole set of the premise is basically when the Divine Gate was open, the living worlds, the heavens, and the underworld became connected. So these three worlds came connected, although a little bit disappointing to say that the, when you see like the heavenly people and the underworld, they don't particularly look any different from what we've seen of the other people, especially when you see in the openings, apart from like those angel sword girls with like, you know, like the fire ifrit looking one and like the little um, air one and the water one. And when you go see, like, you know, they made this whole world council to make sure, you know, people don't abuse this power. Like, when we saw, like, you saw, like, guys, like, use, like, a sigh of fire, and he's pretty much just do what you want. And the only way you can see, like, if you've been blessed with this power is by seeing this sort of full metal alchemist giant door, like, gate sort of thing. And it's like, that's a lot of people's worlds and all that, like, wondering what, is be what lies beyond this gate and all that. Will it change the world? Will, like, it will the past be that changes? Or will it be the future? Like, what holds down this door and I gotta say this is like one thing I liked about the show is like we do get to see from the, uh, which are our main three characters that we do we get to see which is uh, Akane, Midori and Aoto I was really not, like surprised by this nice little chemistry that you got from it and it's seemingly like that Aoto is kind of the main character from what I kind of presume from the first episode it seems like it's gonna be more focusing on Aoto, Akane and, and the other characters as well with Midori, but we have seen like there's some other characters as well from the opening, so it seems like we're going to have like a whole set of six characters that we'll be focused on throughout the entire anime, and I've got to say, Akane, from what we saw of him so far, he's the hothead, you know, using like fire knuckle dusters, which was really kind of cool with these gauntlets that he has, and being, not, no surprise there, is also being voiced by Natsu Dragneel from Fairy Tales, so that makes sense to use like the sort of hothead fire character having that voice actor. Alto, from what we know, is like he's kind of the more cool, keeps to himself, has kind of a very fucked up past. From what we know, apparently, like he killed his parents. From what we found out in the first episode, and it's like we haven't seen it whether or not that's exactly true, but it seems like more leading up to it. And one thing that we found really fucked up was his past. Is that he had a younger brother who actually had the ability way before him, and he was excelling, and he was you know good grades and stuff. And his parents pretty much just left him in the doghouse, just let him there, let him have cold food, never really like cared or even loved him. And even when his brother just starts saying, yeah, I don't really care about them and all that, and it's like, I don't get it, like, with this world and stuff. And it's like, he just looked at him kind of mocking him, and it's like, everyone has been kind of ridiculed him as, like, he's the one that murdered his parents, although there's more to it, and he just kind of accepted it that he's murdered, and he seems to have the water ability. And uh, we didn't see too much of uh, Midori in this episode, but she seems to be, like, the wind wielder, and kind of, like, at, like really high, you know, energetic, you know, happy-good-lucky sort of character. And it seems like a nice mix of like this the main free trio from what we've seen of them so far. And when we got to see like they pretty much go for like the world government where they like pretty much protect people from like doing any bad goods with these abilities that they have. So like they can actually like you can have your natural powers which is war, but then you can also contain them into like weapons as well. So as we saw like Midori has like kind of like that weird like boa staff, like we saw with Akane, he had the gauntlets, and from what we've seen in the opening, Aoto has like this really cool like katana that actually with the war it actually turns into into sort of like a halberd great handed sword like that's kind of cool, actually, and it definitely really reminds me, his powers really remind me of Yamato from Hitman Reborn. That's kind of what it's going for, and honestly, from what we've seen, a nice bunch of colorful characters. I really like the animation. It really looked nice throughout the entirety of the episode. I like the character designs. It's the one thing that caught me in the first place. And honestly, this was one thing that's been done by Periot, so I was kind of surprised at how nice it looked, and... I'm kind of expecting more. We don't know how long it's going on for at the moment, whether it's going to be 12 episodes or 24. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone's going to like say that in the comments down below, whether or not that will be confirmed or not. But overall, it was pretty good. It wasn't amazing like by any means standards, but it was definitely a nice show that I'm definitely going to be checking out throughout this season. I definitely want to keep up with this, and I'd give it a flat out 7 out of 10. I thought it was a very good episode, and I really want to see what's going to happen. And also, can we just say, that opening is sick as hell. I absolutely adore all that opening that we saw right at the end like I cannot wait for like the actual version of that to come out next week and 
the full version whenever that's going to drop because that was a really cool ass opening and I'm looking forward to listening to that non-stop. But that's all for me. So thank you so much for watching as always and let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And if you subscribe, that'd be pretty nice as well. I appreciate that. But I'll catch you chuckle fucks and all you anime lovers next time.